Today is the day I find out if I passed. I am um, logging on to the Pearson View website. Excuse my hair. I just blow dried it, so I haven't done anything to it right now. All right, it's saying... results all right so it's here it's telling me to purchase am I on the wrong side it's telling me to purchase I'm not I'm trying not to let y'all see the rest of my room because I'm packing and my room looks a mess so um should I Hold on. I'm going to check something real quick before I do the Pearson View thing because I honestly feel like it's a waste of money if you're about to find out from your board of nursing if you're past or not. But I want to see if it's on there first. If not, then I'll do the Pearson View trick. I'm not going to pay. I mean, even though it's $8, I'm not going to pay for something that I could get for free. I'm still a nursing student. Somewhat. Somewhat. No, no, no. Don't say that because it's right before the test and I don't want to jinx myself. I mean, it's right before I find out my results. I don't want to jinx myself. So, but yeah. Okay, so it's not on the board of nursing website, which means I have to go ahead and pay for this shit. Okay, so I got my credit card, my debit card, whatever, and I'm about to put my information in. Um. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, I, I did do the, the whole Pearson View trick and all that stuff, but it's like still like starting to, about to hit me. Hold, hold on, y'all, hold on. Oh, let me see if I can. Okay, I have to put it on Do Not Disturb because I don't want somebody to call or text me or anything right when I find out and then he missed the whole moment. So, all right, y'all, I'm finna press. Uh, no, I don't want to save my card. All right, so. This is what it's showing. Oh, I don't want to show my information. Does it show my... No, it doesn't. Okay. So, they're just telling me where I took my test and how much it is. It's only $7.95. So, all right, y'all. All right. Submit order. All right. All right, y'all. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> It says pass. I'm a nurse now. I'm a nurse. <laughs> oh my god! 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 Okay, okay. So um, uh, so uh, at this point, I am getting ready to move to go start my new nursing job. In Brownsville, Texas, I am, um, oh my gosh, like, life just changed right now. My life has changed. I'm a nurse now. My last name, my name has changed. Oh, my God, y'all. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so excited, y'all. Like, I, like I said, I mean, I did the Pearson View trick, but the trick, like, nothing compares to seeing, like, actual you passed, okay? Not like, oh, you did this trick and you got a good pop-up and you got a bad pop-up. It actually says, pass. Pass. And forget all that unofficial results thing. Like, that is not, that is bull crap. You know, if they say you pass or fail, you pass, okay? So, I pass. 
um, I guess the official results will be like an email from them saying you pass, and then of course you'll see your name on the board of nursing saying that you are a registered nurse. I am a freaking nurse, y'all. I'm so, so, so happy. So I'm not gonna make a separate video about how I how I uh, study for the test. <clears throat> Pretty much, I did Hearst, the Hearst review. My school provided it to me, or to, uh, to our class. And we did that the last three days of the um of the school week or whatever that that we had um that we had um before our graduation so we did i did that I reviewed that a couple of times throughout throughout the um the time I was studying so I started like a little i call it my inclex bible and it's a binder full of stuff it says keep calm pass in clicks and become a registered nurse and it's a like a binder of everything I made a study schedule right here if y'all can see it that's for January and then this is February as y'all can see this is my moving day 23rd but I, I did the study schedule. I didn't stick to it 100%. I did do some days where I, I couldn't do everything that I had scheduled here. Or I had to work or whatever have you. But I never, I did do practice questions, at least 25 questions a day. So <clears throat> I just did that. Um, then I also like had um, hers provide you like a little study guide checklist or whatever i followed the checklist and reviewed all the sections again on there after i did the hearst review the actual hearst live review that's my little uh oh my gosh it's like all coming together like this is my my vision board up here if y'all can see it uh don't mind the little baby snacks my nephew is here um but yeah this is my little vision board board on this side it talks basically about nursing and everything like that. I'm still working on it. It's still going and flowing, but it's all coming together. So if you have never done a study or a vision board ever, you should do one. Because as I was like, I'm looking at it and everything that I want is coming to life. It's coming to life. I did it front and back, but the back part is more like my family and how I want you know my future husband and future family to be so I want to get my career down first okay so that's why this is showing first all right so anyway um I got off point but anyway so yes I did the study guide I did the study review um I copied down I made a page hold on okay so I made a page just for lab values and all that i have mnemonics that i have for nclex that i found online and you know some of it was in hearst or U world and then here's some more and then this was that 35 38 whatever how many page study guide that was floating around i i um, went ahead and printed that out and then put it in my binder too but i didn't really study it like hardcore study but it did there is some like typos in here i found or i saw um online that there's some typos in here or um some wrong information on here but i did go over it and i looked and see you know what it is and there is some actual good good stuff in here like placements positions after procedures all that stuff like that this was really good for that so it might not have been perfect, but it was helpful. And then, of course, I, I won't show you all all this, but court, um, if you do Hearst Review, they give you some documents, too, on how, um, on certain things, um, maternity, PD, all that. And then this is the bulk of what I went through and, and did throughout these past four weeks of me studying. So these, I'm, okay. So I am, I can, okay, I can see myself through the mirror, so I don't have to, okay. All right, so I'm a little bit of a, a, I have to write it down, I have to see it, I have to feel it, I have to touch it in order for me to like really, really know it. I can't just hear something and just be like, and it, it just put it into memory sometimes. 
Um, unless it's like something my, my boyfriend said and I had to refer. No, you said. <laughs> but no, nah, um, I um, have to write notes. And um, that's one of the main things that really helped me is doing practice question and writing down rationales and notes. So that's what is all in here. And I write big, so I mean, the pages couldn't, they could probably have been smaller. And it's not like all, I did like 1,600 U World questions. And it's not all 1,600, you know, questions or rationales or whatever in here. But I did break it down by section. So this is fundamentals. Next is cardio. If you can see it, this is cardio. Next is neuro. Then renal. I don't think I don't think I wrote notes for Reno. Um, I I kind I think I finished all the notes before. I mean, I think I finished all the questions in Reno before I actually wrote down any notes. Then this is respiratory. Then we have immune and hematology. And then we have endocrine and yes, you so forth, so on and so forth. GI musculoskeletal then i had a section for skin eyes and ears then we have farm a whole farm section here management i missed some i think no pd and maternal and mental health so um we did i did a lot of questions and i wrote down a lot of notes so i advise you guys if you if you you know are taking the the if you're taking the nclex anytime soon have a study schedule, set some time out, set enough time for you to go and review your stuff, do tons of practice questions, write down rationales, go over your lab values, go over your, um, your uh, like diagnostic tests, like which tests go for what, whether they, you know, are they sedated during this test, are they awake, does this test, or does this, um, what is like an endoscopy? Does this endoscopy go from the, the mouth or does it come through the rectum? You know, stuff like that. You need to know and um, or you need to, you know, you do need to know it, but you do need to like go over it. Don't just think, oh, I just need to know like mental health or I mean, or uh, adult health or I need to know just like med surge. You need to know everything because you don't know where these questions are coming from. Schedule you enough time to review, you know, review your stuff and to know your stuff. If you work, give yourself a little bit more time than your friends do that don't work. You know, if your friends took two weeks out to study and they study hardcore every day, give yourself four weeks or give yourself a month and a half. But I advise you to take it as soon as possible um, from the day that you graduated. So I graduated December 17th. I got my ATI. Uh, January 14th and I took my NCLEX February 7th um, I wanted to say I always said I was gonna take it at the beginning of uh, or at the end of January or at the beginning of February and <clears throat> because I had I had to work I didn't know what my schedule will be and all that stuff I just said I'm gonna give myself four weeks or three weeks three to four weeks and uh, I did and I studied and I even though I still worked and everything I tried to find the time to study I said no when I needed to so if I knew there was something that I could not do I was not going to go and, and stress myself out to go and do it and then I needed to go and practice and, and study and everything like that um I think I throughout this whole video I think I told y'all so much stuff I don't really think I missed out on anything if there's something that you want me to touch on or you know to talk about more you can you know put it down in the comment section you can um i have my email address um in the description box so you can email me personally if you want to i can make an extra video on something that you want to uh see but um i'm just excited that i passed i got the official unofficial results that i passed it says unofficial, but it's official. Come on now. So I got the results that I passed, y'all. So I'm very, very excited. The next video you'll probably see is probably me getting ready to move. 
Um, I, it'll be two weeks. It's two weeks almost to the day that I'll be moving. So I have to, I don't have a, I do have tons of stuff. Unfortunately, I need to give away. <laughs> but um, I, I will be moving pretty soon and starting my my career as a registered nurse so i'm very very excited y'all so i hope that y'all like this video uh, in this vlog i hope that you know i said everything that interests you um please please uh like share and comment subscribe to my channel you guys there's going to be more videos it's only going to be more exciting from here on out um from here on out um my life is starting Oh, okay, that was my, my thing. But yes, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys.